we are gonna see how much honey we get from one super from this beehive. Honey, 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 money, money, money. That's right, people. I do the honey for the money, but I also do the honey and beekeeping because I really enjoy it, a lot of biology. It's a challenge. There's some science involved. There's some art. There's some luck. Uh, this is my fifth or sixth, uh, sixth year, I think, doing beekeeping. Um, my bee yard is a muck. Um, the weeds are overgrown. Um, I got to give it a little bit of love. But we are going to see how much honey we can harvest from one super of a beehive. Let's get to it. Okay, folks, there's um, lots of ways people harvest honey. Um, I use a little bit of smoke, and then I use my bee brush. Some people use those bee escapes. Um, I have one or two of them. I don't really use them. Maybe I should, but um, yeah, I just do the brush method. Be gentle, as gentle as I can. Um, I did open another hive. Sometimes I do use queen excluders, and this year I just didn't get around to it. This hive is fine from not having a queen excluder so far. The other hive, which is my best hive, um, has brood in it, so I had to put um, a queen excluder on that one and wait a couple weeks to harvest. This is still kind of early to harvest in my area. It's like June 6th or 7th, and people usually harvest a little bit later, maybe June 15th to 20th. So that hive is going to have to wait because of uh, not putting the queen excluder on. This honey is mainly um, locust and tulip poplar. Um, a little bit of clover probably, and... Um, probably just a little bit of blackberry because this is kind of the start of blackberry flowering so uh mainly this year locust i think locust um had a really strong nectar flow lots of flowers Good looking honey, I'll tell you that. Beautiful, beautiful. Can't wait to taste it. Okay, just for giggles, uh, we're gonna open up this hive, see if it's ready to harvest. Uh, I got four or five more. Uh, two of my hives are still in the building phase. They're new hives. I might get honey from them in August. The nice thing where I live, you can get a spring harvest, June. Uh, and then usually an August harvest, which is usually sourwood. Uh, very prized honey. Some people say it's the best in the world. It's pretty dang good. But we're going to see if this one's able to be harvested. Might be. I normally have my uh, grabber tool with me. 
Unfortunately, I'm not sure where I put it. Oh yeah, baby. This is some great honey. And not a lot of bees on it. That's good. That's great. Wow. Love it. Okay, folks, so I went ahead and I harvested from a second hive, mainly because the first hive that I wanted to see how much honey I would get from one super, uh, that last frame wasn't ready to harvest yet. It was uncapped. So I opened up a second hive and all 10 frames were capped. So I have those separated. So even in the beginning of the video, when I showed you, you that first hive, we're actually going to be looking at the second hive. Um, what I used to extract... Um, Got my um, hand crank extractor, three frame here. Do, 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 do. Oh, baby. Um, this works pretty good, um, decently. Um, if I had more money, maybe I'd get something bigger, but I don't. And then I got this wax and capping station from Man Lake. This thing is awesome. Something newer from last year that I got. <laughs> Um, it's basically, you can uncap your wax, uh, it goes on a slotted tray, and then the honey will drain out, <clears throat> and then the next day you can collect another pound or two or, of honey or so. I'm going to show you a video just on the uncapping station and talk about it, if it's worth it or not. Secret, yeah, it's worth it. Makes it a lot easier. Um, it's going to be dark when I harvest. <clears throat> um, I like to wait till night so that the bees aren't as active. Um, I'll be in my man shed or the barn. Um, sometimes I harvest inside, but uh, the wife doesn't like that. It gets a little sticky. So I'm going to try to show you some of <coughs> the harvesting. But definitely as soon as... Um, <coughs> excuse me. As soon as it gets filtered, um, we're going to see how much honey we got. Okay, folks, it's the next morning, and this is how much honey I've gotten um, from one super from that second hive we opened up. The first hive we opened up, uh, sorry, those are them wind chimes. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, that uh, first hive we opened up only had nine frames ready, so I'm basing this off a 10-frame medium. Um, this is a five-gallon bucket. And it's definitely at least two-thirds full. So I'm going to say at least three gallons here. Um, a gallon of honey um, is about 12 pounds, I believe. So I'm going to think I got, uh, I don't know, close to 30 pounds of honey here from one super. But um, we're going to make it official. We got... Um, a scale from the bathroom that maybe I should use more often, but we're going to make this official people and see what the scale tells us. Okay. Got it zeroed. Oh, got to zero it again. Dang, dang, choo-choo train. 38.4. So I was off a little bit. Um, now, of course, let's subtract uh, two pounds or so from uh, for the bucket weight and also my filters in there and the lid. I mean, heck, even if you did three and a half pounds, I can safely say that I got 35 pounds from one medium super, probably a little bit more, maybe 36 or something. Um, now, using that um, uncapping station is great because you collect a little bit of extra honey at the end. Maybe it was another pound and a half of honey. So that's something for small-time beekeepers. If you want to really get every ounce of honey you can, that uncapping station is going to really help. Now, you may have other... Uh, experiences this is just one hive you know 35 pounds maybe 36 pounds um i know some people will use the nine frame method and they claim that you know they get more honey but you have one less frame 
Uh, so I don't know. There's some ways to maybe increase your honey production. I am happy with 35 pounds from that one super because I have, uh, well, I've already harvested two other supers and I have at least five or six more supers to harvest in the next uh, few weeks. So, I mean, you know, um, that is a lot of honey. Now, if I average 35 pounds per super, um, that's gonna be close to 300 pounds of honey, people. Now, I do have some um, mediums and a couple shallows, um, so it's gonna be a little bit different, but if I get about 300 pounds of honey now, probably in August, I'll get another 300, so I'm gonna be sitting at about 600 pounds of honey. Honey equals money. Um, I sell for about 10 to $12 a pound. If you buy more, you get a discount. But you know, if I get 600 pounds of honey, that's gonna be a lot of money, people. I'm pretty excited. I mean, last year I made about 2,500 bucks. Uh, whew, this year I could make over 5,000. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. It's gonna take a lot of work. I'm going to farmer's markets every Wednesday. I'm selling in at least two stores. And I do lose a little bit of money, but then they can up the price a little bit and they're good people that I work with. Um, so I am excited for this year. Okay, just to show you, this is, uh, like I said, probably 36 pounds of honey. I'm gonna do some bottling. You don't wanna bottle outside. Normally, I, I never bottle outside, people. I'm bottling outside to show you. If the bees start um, being attracted, which they probably will, uh, I'm gonna go inside because I'm not gonna get stung. I know this is their honey, but hey, I work for it too, people. Um, but this is going to attract bees pretty quickly. So probably, um, I don't know if I'll harvest all of this or bottle all of it, but I just wanna show you how to do it. Um, and I also want you to you know, see how much um, honey is 36 pounds when it's bottled up. That's three pounds, people, right there. Three pounds of honey. Okay, folks, so um, I underestimated how much honey I was going to have, and I sterilized all of my jars in a hot water bath before I uh, put my honey in them um, just to clean them. Uh, so I had to go back inside to do some more of that. But this gives you a general idea. That, again, was about 36 pounds of honey. It was about up to here. There's still about a fourth of that left. There's probably eight, maybe 10 pounds left in the bucket. Um, Quartz are about three pounds of honey. Pints are a pound and a half. These little guys are uh, four ounce jars. When I go to a farmer's market, I like to have a wide variety of jars down from even a, a two ounce size up to sometimes I do half gallon. Um, I just haven't bought any half gallon jars yet. Um, so like I said, I like to mix it up and to um, have something for every customer. That's how a small time beekeeper is gonna make money, is being able to diversify a little bit. If I just sold one jar of honey and it was 25 bucks, that might not be your budget when you go to the farmer's market. Your budget might be $10. Or sometimes I, I'll, I'll go to farmer's markets, I'll give my daughter $10 to spend and say, hey, you gotta use your money and figure out what you need, right? Um, so. I hope this video has been helpful for you, kind of showing you the process of harvesting, extracting, bottling, and next step, people, is making money. You can make money beekeeping. It just takes a couple years, and you don't want to grow too big and always buy equipment. 
this year is going to be a great money making year for me and i love doing it so uh it doesn't get much better than that huh Thank you.